Welcome to this slightly shambolic uh, first live stream of PTV. We're joined here by Ollie Wines. Ollie, second year, how are you going, mate? How are you enjoying training for 2014? Yeah, no, nah, it's going well. Um, obviously, it's a big step up from my first year where, where I'm only on about 75% of training. So um, now this pre-season, I'm into 100% and uh, it's really it's really good. Um, it's, it's definitely taken a step up in January and um, getting a lot more kilometres in the legs and uh, it's definitely good this time of pre-season where we're starting to get into the game type simulation and away from the running drill so um, yeah it's the the group's tracking well and hopefully um, we'll be raring to go for round one. And in terms of that what, what's it like that that sort of build up um, compared to your first year you, is it like another 15 20 percent that you're doing what's it like? Uh, it is yeah um, obviously the body takes the brunt of it. Um, in the first year it's really um, getting your body used to the rigours of AFL football and um, just getting accustomed to it but then um, second year you got to you step it up again and um, get a bit more fitness space so um, I found it tough and um, definitely loving the recovery after training and um, making sure I, I do everything right off the track to get me right. Mate we've got lots of uh, Twitter action here for you <laughs> today. A lot of people writing in asking a few questions. Yep. First one What's it like sharing a house with Chad? Yeah, no, it's going well. Um, obviously, yeah, Chad bought a house and um, him, myself, uh, Dan Flynn and Chad's younger brother have moved in. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really tracking well. We're, we're keeping the place clean. We haven't been out for dinner um, yet, no takeaway. So we're, we're um, pretty self-sufficient and uh, it's really going well. All right, mate, that one was from Steph. Now, we've got a James here from Twitter who is asking, who's your favourite AFL players now and of all time? Yeah, that's a tough question. Um, now I think it'd be Joel Selwood. I uh, just love the way he goes about his football and uh, not just on the field but off the field. He's a good leader and good role model and um, probably of all time, I was thinking the other day actually, and it, it was probably Matthew Lappin who played for Carlton, wore number 12, long sleeve jumper. I was a diehard Carlton supporter so grew up loving Matty Lappin. Fantastic, mate. Uh, now we've got a Matty Wines here who oh, asks yeah. on, on Twitter, uh, Ollie, you showed signs which suggest you could be a leader into the future. Surely uh, you, you were a uh, sports prefect at secondary school. She's suggesting, you know, leadership group for yeah, Ollie Wines. Maybe. Um, oh, like, like, um, leadership is a value and um, obviously I want to strive to be a leader and um, if that's at this football club, yeah, I'll um, definitely take the opportunity, but probably not. At this stage, I definitely got a, a lot of skills to build in that area to get me up to um, where the other boys are. But um, look, I love being a, a role model to, I guess, some of the younger guys and um, really, yeah, work well. Fantastic, mate. Um, now, we've got a question here from Michael on Twitter. Is Port Adelaide your younger brother's preference if he gets drafted? Uh, well, I say it would be his preference, but unfortunately you don't get a choice. So um, I think it's just, yeah, the, the luck of the draft. But um, obviously I'd love to, yeah, pull on the jump with my brother one day. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Ashley asks on Twitter, uh, what was your favourite memory since joining the Port Adelaide Football Club? Uh, I think on field it would be the first final we won against Collingwood. Um, Obviously, it was a it was a big day for most of the team, uh, having played in their first final. So um, it was even more special to win it on the MCG. So uh, definitely, that that'd be the um, most special moment of my career, and hopefully, there's many more to come. Fantastic. Now we've also got a few Facebook questions for you. I'll yeah, just flip I'll over Facebook and have a bit of a look at those. We've got one here from Sophie Wines. Oh yeah, look, Sophie Wines. Wines here. Yeah, they've um, all got it. Do you have a favourite sibling? Oh. That's a tough question. Um, yeah, I've got two sisters, so Sophie and Maddie, and a younger brother, obviously Harry. Uh, I don't know if I've got a favourite. Probably, if I was to put a favourite in there, it'd probably be Harry being a brother. Just, yeah, boys muck around together. And, um, yeah, if I had to put it, it would be Harry. But, yeah, we're a very close family, and um, they've been over a fair few times to um, just see how Adelaide is and support me. So, um, very good siblings. Fantastic, mate. Take that, Sophie. Hayden Lever. Now, this is a more of a statement almost yeah. than a question, but put us out of our misery and tell us you've signed for 10 years with an option of five more. How do you respond to Hayden? Obviously, talking a bit of contract yeah, stuff there. Yeah, no, um, obviously, yeah, I'm yet to sign at this stage. Um, that, I leave that to the manager and um, don't really want to rush into any decisions. Um, make sure I, I really feel comfortable and 
Rody, Peter Rowe, the football manager, and yeah, the, my manager look after that. So I think there's something in the works. Um, stay tuned, and I'm just at this stage focused on really training hard and um, putting a good performance on the track, and hopefully having a good season. Fantastic, mate. Obviously, everyone's loving having you here. We've got uh, Christopher Goyanet. Are you wanting to be a one club player? Seems to be a bit of a theme developing yeah, here. There is. Ollie, one one club player. Something on your mind? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, you, you look at some of the the greatest players to play, and they've all played at one club. So, obviously, I, I definitely love to um, forge a forge a career and um, I guess my own little personal history here. So, um, hopefully, um, yeah, it all plays out, and I'm a one club player. Beautiful, mate. Be a lot of people happy to hear that. Now, this is Jack Hudson. Interesting one. Have you got names for both of your thighs? If so, what are they? Uh, no, I don't really have names. Um, I guess they're just thigh one, thigh two. But they got me in a bit of trouble today. I copped a, copped a corky off someone on the thigh. So um, big thighs. So you, you get a, cop, a lot of corkies. But I don't think I've got any names for them. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Axelby. Um, Again, I guess uh, almost a statement, more of a question, but she's sort of gone, marry me, is pretty much what she's looking for. Um, oh, yeah. uh, any thoughts of marriage at this stage? Oh, probably not at this stage, sorry about that. Um, maybe a couple of years, just get me, let me settle in Adelaide a bit and um, probably not at this stage, no, not at 19. No. Maybe, yeah, mid-20s. Mid-20s. Good thought. Uh, which Port teammate is the hardest to play against at training? That's from another James uh, PAFC uh, on Facebook. Yeah, good question. Um, I think for me it'd be Kane Mitchell. He's a he's an outstanding runner, as everyone knows, and um, not just his long distance running, but his sprinting. Um, and I just really find it hard to stay with him and defend him because he's so quick, and I'm not the quickest person. But um, yeah, definitely Kane Mitchell. I think. Fantastic, mate. And just a, a quick one. Do you, th do you feel the boys are, are a little bit fitter, a little bit more advanced this, yeah, this time definitely. around? Yeah, um, definitely. Obviously, last year was a big pre-season. Um, it was my first, but um, all the boys said it was their, the, the biggest they've ever had. And um, this year has been another step up. You can't just rest on your laurels and um, just keep doing what you've done. You've got to take it to the next step, as every club would be doing. So um, I think, yeah, we're, we're definitely improved our fitness and um, I think our skill and a lot of aspects of our game as well, so it's going well. Fantastic. Ollie, thank you so much for joining us for this first live segment of PTV. It's been an absolute pleasure to have no you on board. Some very interesting answers there. I'm sure the fans have absolutely loved it. This has been James Wakelin in the indoor training facility at PTV.